there is officially a live action Legend of Zelda in production. Um, this is absolutely insane and news that I thought I would never see and especially randomly on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, this is uh, just out of nowhere. This is incredible. Um, so if you haven't seen it, then there was a statement put out by Nintendo uh, stating that a development of a live action film of The Legend of Zelda to start. Um, and it basically said that today it was announced that they're doing a live action film. Um, you know, and this came from the uh, from Furukawa uh, and that it's going to be produced by Miyamoto and uh, Avi Arad, uh, chairman of Arad Productions, who has had many mega hit films, supposedly, um, as well as the film being directed by Wes Ball and being co-financed by Sony Pictures Entertainment. And yeah, this is just wild news to randomly come out. Um, Miyamoto put out a statement saying, this is Miyamoto. I've been working on the live action film of The Legend of Zelda for many years now with Avi Arad-san, who has produced many mega hit films. I've asked Avi-san to produce this film with me and we have now officially started the development of the film with Nintendo itself heavily involved in the production. It will take time until its completion, but I hope you look forward to seeing it. Uh, yeah. And I have many questions and concerns, but regardless, we should look at what we do know and like, and, and what kind of like references we need to pull from. West Ball would probably be most widely known or recognized for the Maze Runner series, which if you've seen the Maze Runner series, um, it, they were they were pretty good. I didn't know any, I didn't read the books. So I didn't know much about it, but they were fairly entertaining from the few that I had watched, um, as well as Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which I did not see, and of few of uh, a few other movies and stuff here but maze runner and planet of the apes which is an looks like it's an upcoming movie for next year um looks like maze runner is the real thing we got to go off here is that enough of a of a you know directing credit to really get me excited not personally i would love to have seen somebody with a you know extensive extensive experience um and maybe some other things to go off of but i don't know maybe i'll check some of these movies out now uh but west ball to direct uh watch the maze runner movies i guess if you want to see some of his uh some of his influence avi arad um i hope i'm saying his name correctly um he is uh he's a producer and he uh, has a production company and all these other things uh, and he is extremely notable and um the superhero realm it looks like uh, every single sony uh superhero spider-man adaptation has gone through this guy including spider-verse um including the sam raimi trilogy include including the amazing spider-man sequels um tragically morbius as well um this guy uh has uh has a pretty big resume of notable movies uh, so that's interesting to look at that he has this kind of catalog to go back on um, with just a lot of Sony films um, and a lot of action films as well. Um, personally, that makes me excited that he's very involved in this because, I mean, the Spider-Man movies have always been uh, movies that I've enjoyed. Um, I really, really like Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, the Sam Raimi trilogy is classic, um, even though Spider-Man 3 is a dud. Uh, and uh, people have done nothing but praise and rant and rave about how great um, the Into the Spider-Verse and Beyond the Spider-Verse movies are. So the biggest concern I have at this point with this movie is uh, honestly that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto is involved. <laughs> um, I am, uh, I'm worried about how Miyamoto's uh, lack of involvement in the Zelda series over the past, um, I mean, might as well say 30 years at this point, um, how that's going to affect what this movie is, how it's created, what it's about. Um, is this going to be kind of like an adaptation of like maybe the original Zelda and a story that we see based off of that and like the Zeldas that he was more closely aligned with? Um, the fact that there isn't any real concrete news about who is working on this is expected because this is just an announcement saying that it is. But if A.J. Allen Newman is not involved in this in some capacity, then that is a huge red flag for me. And uh, I'm very, very nervous about what that could mean for this movie. Um, a few years ago, I put out a video on a Zelda anime and how I thought that Zelda would be best adapted into a film 
um, or a television series uh, in the form of animation and how there's a lot of limitations that could come out of live action. The fact that they're going forward with a live action series is um, a little worrying. I think it can be done. I think the success of the Mario movie can, uh, shows that they are uh, they are willing to stay faithful to the fans and to the source material and uh, create something that's unique to itself in that realm, uh, but grounded in its universe. So, couldn't can they pull it off? They they have all the resources available to them to do so. Um, I think with Zelda, it's just a little bit more difficult to do because of the nature of Zelda. Um, you're going to pacing, uh, you know, how much you put into these movies uh, is going to be a concern. Do you have Link Talk? Is that going to be a thing? How much of an integral part is the lore going to play into this? There's a lot of questions and things that are just uh, are concerning about the prospect of this. But at the same time, it's equally exciting because uh, The Legend of Zelda is finally getting adapted into a film, uh, a film medium. And that's very exciting. Um, you know, there was there was reports again a few years ago that uh, Netflix was in works uh, with Nintendo to develop a TV show, a TV show for uh, The Legend of Zelda. And uh, because of rumors and leaks and all these other things, uh, they pretty much just scrapped the idea because, you know, even if you go back 10 years ago, Nintendo was very different with how they handle their IPs and very, very protective of, um, of their properties and people using them outside of their own involvement. So uh, it's, very, it's a very different Nintendo nowadays. Uh, they are branching out into a billion other mediums and uh, seeing a lot of success in those mediums. So can the Legend of Zelda movie be successful? Absolutely. Is there a lot of things that they could mess up and absolutely dismantle and ruin? Uh, uh, yeah, a lot. And uh, I think the best thing they can do is um, whew, go into this with as much detail as they possibly can because um, with a Mario movie, you know, it's Mario. There's not really a whole lot of, like, lore with Mario. You know, like, it, it was more, like, references and just, like, keeping to, to the, keeping true to the tone and, uh, you know, the like, the fun of Mario uh, with the Mario movie. With Zelda, there's a lot more emphasis on the history and the lore. And um, if you don't get that right, or at least don't present new ideas with it in a in a way that's respectful to the old medium uh zelda fans are going to not enjoy this movie and uh i think that's going to be a very very tough thing for them to balance but we'll see let me know what you guys think are you excited for a legend of zelda movie to finally be happening this is probably i, I would assume three years at minimum away before we see uh, anything on this movie um, you know, it was, uh, what, like a six year timeline for the Mario movie before it finally released. So, you know, they're announcing it now. Maybe it's going to be a couple years out, but like, I, I would think we're probably going to see this in like at the earliest late May, early 2026, I would say they're going to have a, a challenge with this one because Zelda fans are insatiable. This is a great time. For this, though, I don't want to get that misconstrued. You look at, you know, the sales numbers came out today for, uh, for you know, this quarter for the Switch's uh, hardware sales and software sales. And Tears of the Kingdom is sitting comfortably at like 19.5 million. Uh, second best selling Zelda game of all time. Between it and Breath of the Wild, you're looking at, you know, nearly 50 million units of a Zelda game. That's a significant number. That is most of the hard, that's most of the software sales for this franchise in its history. It's getting very close to the same number of the total sales of every other game combined. So it's uh, it's insane that uh, these games are doing this well, but it is also just uh, an incredible opportunity for them to capitalize on the popularity of the Switch titles uh, and to make a Zelda game, which also begs the question of, are these gonna be influenced by Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? Again, Shigeru Miyamoto being heavily involved leads me to believe that it's something more akin to the original Zelda, but time will tell. 
Um, I've been rambling enough. Uh, let me know what you guys think. This is very exciting, but this is this is obviously going to be something that we are going to cover extensively on the channel, and we are going to talk about uh, you know when, when news comes up. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and we'll talk more about the Legend of Zelda the movie. Oh, that is a very very interesting prospect, isn't it? Oh man. Thank you guys so, so much. I will see you in the next one.